another video and I was studying the Lord has brought this to my attention. In other words, as they would say, the false prophets, he spoke to me. Well, you know, he's always speaking to us through the word of God. But as in reference of how he's speaking to you, it's another thing. It's not every single day that he's showing you something about this people, that person, or this and that's every single about it. By the day, you know, well, if that's the case, then you should be telling you something about your own self. But before I get to this point, um, this is about a story about Anais and Sapphira, right? And how the husband was, um, he was very, you know, he, he, he was supposed to be in charge of, of certain things, right? And, and how he was very um, deceiving and deceitful how he would lie and how he would keep some of the money for himself and as you store it up, he was supposed to give it back to the people, but he kept some for himself. But here's the thing I want you to catch and to realize, right? But then when he, then, you know, he died, right? The Lord, you know, uh, caused him to die behind his dishonesty, right? And so when his wife come upon him and she asked, you know, they asked her and, you know, and she, she takes up for him knowing she knew the truth about what he was doing, but she wanted to lie to them instead of saying, you know what? Yeah, he had as, you know, he was very dishonest, you know, and so by her dishonesty, you know, she fell and she died. Here's the thing. A lot of you wives out there are protesting what in, that is righteous, what your husbands is doing. It, rather they doing shady business or a false prophets or whatever, you will be held accountable in the same way that they will be held accountable be, because you allow their dishonesty to continue to be. And this is a big problem, right? And this is a reference to this. So if you go to um, Acts 5 and 38, and you can read this story and it'll give you more understanding because this is a reference to me of saying, hey, you know, when you rally behind somebody that dishonor, you will suffer a consequence as well. That's just like when you when you go rob somebody and the person that was standing out looking, he's an accessory. When you kill somebody and that person knew about it, they become accessory. So your wives are accessory to the husband upon the deceit and the dishonesty upon what they do, and they will be held accountable in the same manner as that. So if you uh wives out there knowing your husband is is ripping off God, meaning ripping off God, meaning his children, using his name to get rich or do whatever other than just to spread the word of God from being genuine and, genuine, genuine and pure upon doing so, and you know about this, you're just as guilty as he is. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. God bless you, and I hope some of you wives will wake up and, and talk to your husband and say, hey, what you're doing is not right. Because if you do that, and something was to happen, you will save yourself because you're constantly telling your husband, look, you cannot do this. That's not right. That is wrong. And when you do that, that is pleasing to the Lord because you are at least telling your husband. So when something bad was to happen, you may save yourself from the tragic that may happen to you if you would have just continued to rally on while you've been deceitful. But a lot of you are deceitful because you're enjoying the money as well.